Hey, I've made a small term, a uh, small change to the uh, export tab delimited um, records tool uh, that I thought folks might find interesting, um, so I wanted to highlight it here. All right, so let me go ahead and give you um, a sample record so you can see what uh, I'm looking at. Um, all right, so here's a sample record. So let's say as a user, um, you're exporting a tab delimited list and you wanted to export the title and you wanted to export um, the data in the 260, but you wanted to export the A, B, and C. Um, in the current way that the tool works, um, if you export these functions, um, it'll export them as separate columns. Um, and that's not a problem so much in this record, but let's say this record had two uh, 260 fields, um, what ends up getting created is a, uh, a single column with a 260 field where it's in a delimiter. And so what happens is that I would have ones for an A, a B, and a C, and then it's very difficult to merge these back together so that you can see which um, data elements belong to which field. Um, so what I've done is I've been thinking, uh, I had a request because um, the folks were pulling some data and using it in OpenRefine and they had asked for a way um, to be able to pair this information together so that if there was two fields in the same um, record that the delimiters would get created between whole fields. So if I wanted to actually get a 260 with an A, B, and C on it and only create a secondary delimiter if there's another 260 with another A, B, C, or A, B, or B, A, C, or whatever, then, um, then that would be uh, possible. So I gave it a little bit of thought um, and tried to put this into the current um, structure of the way that the tool works that made sense, at least to me. Um, so the way that this works, so we'll go ahead and we'll grab a record here, that same record, really quick. And then we'll go ahead and save the file as a test file. Uh, we'll leave the other selections alone because I don't need to do anything with them. So it's going to be tab and uh, whatnot. Um, and so this is where we'll create our fields. So we're going to say the 245A, so we want the title. And then we're going to create one for the 260. This is the one that we wanted. It has, and we want to get the A, B, and the C, A, B, C. So what I'm gonna, so what I've done is in the tool, um, if you add the list of the subfields that you want to include um, in a single column, you can do that here. Uh, now the way that this works is it's going to normalize away the subfields. It's going to turn the subfield code data into a space, I think, um, or a, a space value. Um, but, uh, and I guess I could make it an empty value, but it, space seemed to be what was, uh, in some discussions was the, the common, uh, feel that that would be the most, uh, relevant. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that. And now when we go ahead and tell it to export, uh, data has been exported. Um, if I go to my test file now. and look at it, you'll see how this worked out. So here's the title that was created, um, and here is uh, the field. So here is US, which was in um, subfield A, that was in subfield B, and this was in subfield C. Uh, in this case, there was no subfield B, so we just got the A and the C, and then here's A, B, and C, if they're appropriated. If there was a second 260 field um, here, we would have seen something that looks like this. We would have had the second delimiter, whatever the second delimiter happened to be. So um, we would have had a, a second delimiter and then US um, data date. So we would have seen a second delimiter and we would have seen the data stay um, collected together. So this is a way for you if, for example, you're exporting call numbers and you want all of your call number data to stay together, you can put in all of the subfields that are um, needing to be grouped together and include those in a single 
part of a column. So that way, if there are multiple call numbers, you'll be able to continue to see the whole call number um, in your export. Um, so hopefully that'll make life a little bit easier. I know that there have been some folks who have occasionally had problems with data like that, where you had multiple columns um, and subfields needing to be worked together. So um, hopefully that will make sense. Um, and will otherwise the, the tool works. Uh, that was the only change in that particular tool. Everything else works exactly the same.